Sutra. Because of these speculations that deny both the existence and non-existence after death, the future is murky to him and he cannot say anything about it. Therefore, he will fall into externalism and become confused about the body nature. This is the eighth external teaching, which postulates confused theories that deny both existence and non-existence after death in the realm of the five skandhas. Commentary Because of these various speculations which he made above, that deny both the existence and non-existence after death. The future is murky to him and he cannot say anything about it. He says that after death there is both existence and non-existence. He cannot perceive the future and of the formation skanda. Since he cannot know, know it, there's nothing he can discuss, nothing he can say. Therefore, he will fall into externalism by following an external teaching and he will become confused about the fundamental body nature. This is the eighth external teaching which postulates confused theories that deny both existence and non-existence after death in the realm of the five skandhas. He says that after one dies, there is existence and yet no existence in the realm of the five skandhas. Because his mind is utterly confused, he arrives at this kind of theory. Sutra Further in his practice of samadhi, the good person's mind is firm, unmoving, and proper and can no longer be disturbed by demons. He can thoroughly investigate the origin of all categories of beings and contemplate the source of the subtle, fleeting and constant fluctuation. But if he begins to speculate that there is no existence after death, he could fall into error with seven categories of the cessation of existence. Commentary Further in his practice of samadhi, the good person's mind is firm, unmoving, and proper, and can no longer be disturbed by demons. The good person who cultivates samadhi has developed solid samadhi power and a proper mind, so the demons have no way to bother him. He can thoroughly investigate the origin of all tough categories of living beings and contemplate the source of the subtle fleeting and constant fluctuation.